Hi, this is Sue Jackson of the Book by Book blog, and I'm here with another Friday Reads. I'm gonna try to keep it short today because I've been recording for over, oh wow, for almost two hours. <laughs> um, I just finished recording my three-part answers to the questions you asked for my 1,000 subscriber milestone. So I'll be posting those, don't worry, I divided it into three reasonable shorter pieces. Um, there was a lot of running around and preparation in between <laughs> recording. So um, yeah, but I need to go have some lunch. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to keep this brief. Um, it's been a great reading week. Still enjoying Big Book Summer, the last of Big Book Summer. The annual reading challenge ends on September 2nd this year. And I just yesterday finished The Ferryman by Justin Cronin. I've talked about it for the last couple of weeks, so I'm not going to t get into too much detail here. I just want to tell you because I didn't know this. <laughs> I think I had just started it. I, maybe I've only talked about it once, but I think I had just started it last week. Well, first, my husband was right. It's 540 pages, but it was a very fast read. Um, suspenseful, gripping, completely immersive. What I didn't know when I was talking to you about it last week is that this book is full of surprises and I hate spoilers so I won't tell you anything more and just saying that's not a spoiler because it's not like there's one big twist no it's yeah there's so much to this and besides being gripping science fiction with interesting characters lots of emotional depth um some suspense. It's also very thoughtful and thought provoking, really makes you think about our world. I love science fiction that does that. And if you don't normally read science fiction, it's not real science fiction-y. Um, the setup at the beginning is simply that in the wider world, there's been some sort of crisis with a capital C. We don't know what that crisis is, but the people in the novel live on an isolated island that is somehow protected from the rest of the world and what's going on out there. And so they've created a kind of utopia, except as with most utopias, the main character begins to see that maybe it has some flaws. So that's the setup. Um, so it's not, it's not like real technical or anything. Don't worry about that. It, if you don't normally read science fiction, it's about the people. It's about humanity. It's about relationships. It, it, it's an outstanding book. And I thought the ending was just perfect. So yesterday I started my last in print anyway, Book of Big Book Summer, Trust by Hernan Diaz. This one's been on my list since it was published in 2022. Now this book won the Pulitzer. A lot of you have already read it. My introduction to this book was a bit different because I got to meet the author the day that this book was released. So no one knew yet what a big splash it would make, that it would win the Pulitzer Prize, um, that it would become so popular and so talked about and critically acclaimed. Um, he was just one of the authors at Booktopia in 2022. So I had the pleasure of meeting him and hearing him speak. Um, and I don't think I even bought a copy of the book while I was there. It was, it was one of the late releases. Um, usually for Booktopia, the books come out before we get there. This one was just coming out that weekend. I don't think I even bought it. I think my husband gave this to me when I asked him for it for Christmas. Um, so I am finally starting it. I have been saving it for the end of summer because I'm doing a buddy read 
with Nikki, who ran the channel Red Dot Reads. Um, she's on a hiatus, and I don't know if she plans to come back. She's she's pretty busy um, with with life, but um, but she and I did a buddy read last year of Lincoln Highway, and we both really enjoyed it. Really got to know each other well, and so then. Earlier this year in the winter, we did Ask Again Yes, and again, just really enjoyed the experience. So I've been looking forward to doing that again. I only just started it last night. I barely know what's going on. I do know just from glancing over it and what I've heard in reviews that it is broken up into four parts, and each one focuses on a different character. And the writing of each part is in a unique format. So the first part that I just started reading is actually a novel. If you look, there's part one, Bonds, a novel, um, by this author, who I assume is going to come up later in the book. Um, one of the sections is a memoir, I think one is told in letters. So it's a unique book um, with these different stories that interconnect and interrelate. And I, I always like that in the novel. So looking forward to reading it, looking forward to chatting about it with Nikki. Um, we're going camping next week. Uh, just a short trip, not too far away in Pennsylvania. Um, but we'll be gone Sunday through Thursday. So that means lots of reading time, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, when we're just hanging around the campsite and really looking forward to that. On audio, I am still reading and still loving Somewhere Beyond the Sea. This is the sequel to House in the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Klune. It is due out on September 10th. I was fortunate to get an advanced copy of the audio. I loved House in the Cerulean Sea on audio. Just listened to that also this summer. And I loved that world so much, I wanted to jump right back into it. Also, it is a big book, so I figured why not? Let's read it now. I am really enjoying it. Um, same characters, same setting as the original. There's a lot to love there. It begins right where the first book left off. No spoilers. I can tell you a new child arrives at the house and that it still involves Arthur and the children and Linus is still there too and a character. So um, yes, it's great and I'm really enjoying it. These books are really great on audio, and I love, love, love the sense of humor. Some of the stuff the kids say, <laughs> I usually listen while I'm getting ready for bed at night, and my husband was looking at me really weird last night because I'm like brushing my teeth and laughing. <laughs> so yeah, just fabulous. Um, speaking of my husband, his last big book for the summer is A Chunkster. Dreamcatcher by Stephen King um, that he pulled off of our bookcase of books we inherited from my dad, mostly Stephen King and Dean Klute's books. Um, yeah, they're very special to us, and this was one he hadn't read yet. He's about a third of the way through it, so I'm sure he'll read a lot while we're camping as well. That's what I've been reading and what I will be reading. What will you be reading this weekend? please let me know in the comments down below.